Carter's Off-Road Park in Bryant, Arkansas, right beside Little Rock. I'm going to defend my mud race title from last year, and uh, yeah, or I guess actually this year. Uh, from May. Yeah, from May for the, the first event. So yeah, and to try to win that damn stage two bounty hole that uh, I just, for whatever reason, break it every time I go into it. So hopefully, uh, the diff sticking, we've got a few issues with the machine. So we didn't have time to put a halo uh, diff in, and, um, so we're just going to send it and see what happens. Sexy Santa's going to meet us down there. Oh, we probably got about uh, 60 or so Missouri motors on the way down. A lot of them are going to Bricks this weekend. Uh, I'm just going to talk to my boy Bryce Sparks. They're already down at Bricks, so we hate, uh, probably we'll pass it in about 45 minutes, Bricks, but I hate missing Bricks. It's Cheryl and I's favorite place to go as far as just partying and hanging out. Um, there's no better party, babe, would you agree? Agree. So this is a tough one to miss this. But we're going down to try to win this damn stage two bounty haul. I'm probably going to go ahead and do the mud race because I feel like um, I've got to defend my title. But at the same time, I hate to do it because it's elimination round. So if you know, there's quite a few people in it, I might have to race five or six times uh, to win it. So just more damage on the machine. But we'll do some video. We'll see how long it stays together. I definitely know the diffs on the way out. So we'll go from there and then we'll drop back off at STL Power Sports and, and then put some new parts and stuff in it. Uh, but other than that, we just want to do a little bit of video, just kind of let you know what we're doing this weekend. Our event went great. Uh, the Shelby Showdown was phenomenal. We had a massive crowd. The entertainment was amazing. The end of the season driving. And I'll let Cece talk about it a little bit. What were some of your favorite things for the weekend? Oh, the competitions. The hill climb race was awesome, as usual. Um, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Uh, half the field broke, so it was very exciting. Competitions were so close. That yeah. and the stage two bounty course was close. Oh, yeah, it just all was really close. So the action yeah. was awesome. Yeah, it was. I mean, there was like nerves in your stomach and butterflies. It was crazy how close some of these came down to it. The hill climb, like Cece said, came down to one point. The leader, Brian McKinney, broke on the hill. And all like the last three had, that had to do was just finish it. And James, 60 Santa Mabry, would have won the entire bounty series championship that he won. He won that race, but he needed Brian to finish one spot lower, so it came down to one point. Um, but yeah, just a great show. And then Mama Bear, Laura Hebner, ended up winning the stage two, barely over John Connors. Yeah, driving fully. a broke machine, she didn't have any power steering, yeah. so she had to manhandle it for seven minutes sure through did. the course. She sure did. <laughs> yeah, the stage one side by side, like I was, did my, I was just talking about Bryce Sparks, uh, he just pretty much dominated. He only did three of the events and still dominated it, so kudos to him. He didn't win uh, the stage one e uh, event, but he won the overall uh, Missouri Motor Body Series Championship, so that was cool. Um, yeah, the ATV, uh, you know, the boys from uh, Arkansas, Stan and Chris. That was a in. close race, too, with John. Mm -hmm. John Connorsman, the top three there, so it was cool to watch that. But, you know, we're going to go down and support our, our buds down here. They've came up and helped us with uh, our last several events and uh, just have done a great job, so we're going to go try to help them out a little bit for their event support them and try to win some uh, trophies and cash some checks and everybody knows i love carters best yeah. trails so i'm always super excited to go to carters unfortunately we're not going to get down there till you know close to midnight tonight friday night the race starts the uh, mud race starts at 10 in the morning so uh, probably by the end of the day there won't be much trail riding we're going to listen to hinder and saving able the two bands and then probably leave and start driving towards Missouri and try to find a hotel about two hours yes, after the park. Definitely a quicker park. trip down here than we usually we come down on Thursday but uh -huh. both of us had to work. I had volleyball games I was coaching so yeah. it's what it is but I'm happy to still get there. Yeah but uh, hey I want to thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks. There's your sign for Carter's Park. It is 821 on Saturday and we're just pulling up to the park. Yeah, early for us. Uh, the mud race starts at 10 o'clock this morning, so we heard it was we heard it was packed last night. So it sounds like, uh, unfortunately, everybody may have not went to Briggs and came down to Carter's. Um, unfortunately for the people at Briggs, but good for us, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, excited. Um, you know, honestly, I'm normally not too nervous on a lot of these competitions, just because I have such a good machine. And but with Silky Johnson being old, broke. I know it's gonna break. It just can I get through the day before it completely breaks? Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. The mud races in the beginning. I know we talked a little bit on the last video. 
I kind of wish the bounty hole would have been first because it's just one run, but you know, I don't know. If I get there and there's a ton of people that want to get in the mud race, I may not. I may just hold off just to try to keep it together for the bounty hole. Yeah, because you'd have to run a lot of runs if there's a lot of people. Yeah, that's the only thing where it's like knockout races. Um, I know so, we've showed you guys before, but it's such a pretty drive into this park. Yeah, yeah you're never going to to an off-road park <laughs> and see a more beautiful drive. I mean, you've passed half a million dollars coming up here again. On the left-hand side, going to be some, you know, massive homes. Uh, just an absolutely beautiful scenery getting the park and the park is beautiful too but oh uh, looking forward to today sexy santa came down with us we got a bunch of missouri mutters down uh, that came also i want to thank mark carter i want to thank frank and Walt performance so much and uh, yeah we're just looking forward to putting on a show whether we blow the thing you know the the diff out in the first run or it's the last run we'll we'll put on at least a good show no matter what and yeah, here's how you pull into the park. Right next to these houses. <laughs> yeah. We always now, are amazed by that. They're only allowed to have four major events a year. And I think that because of part of the issue there. So it's not like these people have to deal with this every weekend. But those They're four, open every weekend though, they? are open, yeah. This park Just is for open riding? 365 days a year. Never closes. 24-7. Oh good, there's no line. Yeah, we came a little early because we thought there might be a line. We heard there was a line four wide last night and all the way down the road. To get in, yeah. So we weren't sure. We wanted to make sure we would get in here in a timely way. So it's always better to be early than to be late. I agree. I am definitely not one that likes to be late. Um, if I'm not early, I'm late. That's my policy. Cool castle here at the beginning. We just pulled into the park here, 8.30, Saturday morning, parked. Parked next to Walter and Stephanie, didn't even know they were here. Well, we knew they were here, but not like right here. Uh, people aren't really up and moving quite yet this morning. It is still pretty early. The new pavilion up there looks real nice and they built for the concerts. Nice looking vendors area over there. Josh standing out there evaluating the situation. Arkansas Jeff back there in the white truck says he's going to drive through the whole... Turn the camera on just in case. I don't think it's really going to happen. Josh out there stretching. Getting ready for the big race. Arkansas Jeff. I'm not sure what moonshine he was drinking this morning, but to get a better view uh, of the race for the ATV, the side by side uh, mud races day, he's going to attempt to take the Dodge Ram out into the hole. Stay tuned because this is not going to work out well, I promise you. Got it. be able to back out. I think you'll be able to back out. He boarded the mission pretty quickly. I think he's just going to get buried even more. He's going to need towed out. Yeah, you're done. I guess Jeff. Yeah, Arkansas Jeff. Okay, so it's funny about irony, that word. So when I got here, I got PA. If you guys haven't checked out his YouTube page, hang up PA, one of the best off-road uh, pages on the channels on YouTube that you're ever gonna see. Man, you have been killing it lately. Love watching uh, TikTok, love watching your videos about all the products and stuff. If you guys have any products, you want somebody to test it, this is the guy to do it for sure. 
Um, so we were just joking. As far as I know, there's probably the two big heavy hitters right here. Santa's borrowed John's machine, which is really set up for this. Uh, much higher lift. Um, PA's machines are rocket ship too. So this is what I figured the finals would be if it happened. Right Unfortunately, the they threw each other first round. first round. So we're gonna the tight. I guess the clash of the Titans here. We'll see kind of what happens. But PA, what do you think? Is Santa going down today? It's my first time doing it, guys, so we're gonna give it hell. Hey, it's my first time too. Right. The machines are out there. Santa, is PA going down? It's a, it's a toss up right now. Nobody so wants to talk smack yet. <laughs> he said you're going down faster than Hooker at the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> Hey, no, this is going to be some awesome racing day. I want to give Frank Little Performance a huge shout out. The crowd's fantastic for 10 o'clock in the morning. From what I've seen so far, this is the busiest Harvest Fest they've ever had. Uh, I mean, we've got a, probably a 60, 70 Missouri motors that came down with us. Um, and competing with Briggs, that is huge. Um, so I just want to thank Mark Carter. I want to thank all their staff and everyone here so much. Um, it's going to be a fun day of racing. Win, lose, break, whatever happens, it's going to be a fun day no matter what. So good luck, fellas. Good luck. Stay tuned. Alrighty. 10 ATVs. Here's our first pair. Honda versus Can Am. Round for racer number two. All right, Price we're ready. Versus Peyton. Okay, Steven. so Bradbury's are Delta Elevations. My bad. I want to make sure that I remind everybody that it's Delta Elevations for all your filming needs. Third pair to all right, are we ready? Wolfman versus Steven.
I think he's going to get his beard dirty today. Hanging with PA versus Sexy Santa. Sexy Santa borrowed John Connors' men, um, ATV from STL Power Sports. Thanks, John. This is going to be an interesting race. at the yep. end. Wolfman wins. He needed to pull off. He got in. <laughs> this dog just likes to get in to cool off. All right, so this is going to be your third place race right here for third. Sexy Santa versus somebody. I'm sorry I didn't hear the name. Power Sports, no 
Man versus Santa in the final. Okay, look, we got a great finals here. Arkansas versus Missouri. Carter Park Racing versus Missouri Mudders. Wolfman versus Sexy Santa. Sexy Santa's on the outside. I don't know if that'll be a disadvantage. All right, here is the final run. Who's going to get it? Wolfman or Sexy Santa? Let's go, Santa. Go, 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 go. Go, Santa. race y'all give everybody a round of applause for these guys coming out here Woo! sexy santa won first place wolfman win second place it gives a graceful nod So, Randall, what do you think about the race today? Cold water, huh? Did you have fun? Awesome, awesome. Well, here's you a $50 cash and a third place trophy. The trophy, the most important part of the racing. Everybody give him a round of applause. Up next, we have Carter's own Wolfman. Way to go, Wolfman. So, what do you think about the race today? Very cold. <laughs> Very cold. That seems to be the consensus for today. The water is cold. $200 cash. And a fabulous second place trophy to go along with all the other trophies that he has. Good job. All the other second place trophies. <laughs> and up next we have the winner, James Mayberry, Sexy Santa, with the Missouri Mutters. What do you think about today? Uh, this is first time. <laughs> this is first time I've raced a race like this, and this long of a water course. It was uh, very interesting. I look forward to doing it again. It was a great time. Awesome, awesome. I want to thank the Missouri Mutters for coming down and helping out this weekend. Thank you. Yes, you are going to get one of them. This is your four hundred dollar, and then your magnificent first place trophy. Hey, hey, we can't. We have got Mark Carter here with Carter Park Race. Uh, come on, start Carter Park. Uh, Mark, I want to thank you so much. This is our favorite park we love to go to. So Mark's boy and my boy got in the finals. So we had a little hundred dollar wager, and there were no losers today except for Mark Carter. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you that hundred dollars, brother. Hey, you got it. You thank got you for letting us play your playground. Well, we love this place. If you've not been to Carter Off Road Park, I'm telling you, I call it one of the top ten mega parks in the country. Get here. This park has everything, and it's one of the few parks that offers for mega trucks, side by sides, ATVs. Jeez, if you just want to walk the thrill, you can do everything in this All right, we want to thank Crazy Jays out of Conway. All right, again, there are four side-by-sides. All right, side ready to side. see these side-by-sides? Give it a hit. Y'all ready to see the mud fly and the water sling? I'll take you out, I'll take you out. Come on, inside, pull All right, are my YouTubers ready? All right, awesome. Ready when y'all are.
right, he's we're done. Now, I don't know if any of y'all know Bryce Sparks with Whiskey Biz. If y'all follow him on TikTok, but Bryce Sparks with Whiskey Biz and the Mud Man Josh Carmen raced a week ago for a title belt, and Josh just so happened to win that round. Oh. Two at best, two out of three. Smoked his oh competition. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such fight. a good race. Sexy Santa and Josh Garman fight to the death for whoever is going to win. It's going to be interesting to see who blows the belt or something else. Okay, so Josh's dip is on the way out. We just need him to make it around here. I'm nervous. They're probably not. I'm always nervous. Sexy Santa versus Mudman. I think if they both finish, they'll get first and second. Because the last two didn't even finish. Say, Missouri Mutter's final. We're clear over here at the finish line. Such Are we clear down there? Anticipation. Come on, sir. Get a thumbs up down there. We're ready to go. All right. Josh said wait. Josh said wait. Okay. Go! Let's go, babe. Yep, let's go, let's go, let's go. Still together? I did. Oh, I took it easy. I was on okay. like half throttle. Nice. Good job. Good job. All right. Um, he's got a lot of clothes on, like it's winter when we were here last time. Hey, you got to come over here for trophies. Well, you still get third place. Third place, he said his clutch came apart over there. We all heard it. I used my winch. All right. Hey, Brad. Uh oh. I didn't notice that sexy Santa's stuck out there. There he is. I'm not sure what happened there because I was following Josh. 
we'll have to keep you posted on what happened. All right, so Mudman is going to go get Sexy Samsa here. I get those goosebumps every time. What happened? All right, tell us what happened. Something got in the electrical? Uh, skid plate was loose, got ripped off in the water, and uh, I'll go got water into my electrical system. Uh -huh. Shut it down. Hopefully it just dries uh, out. All right, Santa. So what happened with you at the finish line? Uh, lost power right after the finish. Uh, something electrical shut down on it. I uh, lost a skid plate in the uh, sippy hole over there. And, uh, just gotta hopefully she'll dry out and be ready for the next uh, mud race. Awesome. Well, you've got a little bit of time. In the meantime, here's $200 Woo! and your second place trophy for Sexy Santa. Second trophy of the day already. That's his second trophy of the day. Y'all give him a round of applause. Woo! Up next is a man that when he wins, he wins, and most of the time he doesn't win because he doesn't race. <laughs> But it is the mud man, Josh Carmen. So what do you think about the race today? Well, Stan, I pissed excellence. I knew I was going to win when I came down. I told everybody on Facebook Live, there was no doubt. Even with Sexy Santa, um, if you ain't first or last, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all no. heard it. No, all seriousness. Amazing course. We raced it last year. And it was gracious enough to get a win on it. Uh, got a win this time. I actually enjoyed it more this time than I did last time. Uh, a little bit more of a dynamic with the water and stuff, but no, just an amazing course. You guys have done a great job. And, um, and Santa, I mean, I don't care what you beat Santa. Anything you can beat Santa in, it's an amazing accomplishment because it doesn't happen very often to anybody. So I love this guy. He's like a brother to me, and he has made me a much better racer the last couple of years. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, love you, buddy. Well, I know from watching him over the last few months racing, he does do a good job. So here is your first place, $400. Woo! Put that towards the div we're about to buy. <laughs> and then your fabulous first place trophy. That is a trophy. pretty trophy. Okay, Love let's it. get a picture. All right, mega trucks are up next. Can you hear the song in the background? That's the Missouri Mudder song. That nasty off-road. Thank you, Larry Dreadbone. First up, Bean Construction Truck. All right, we are ready. They're not racing head to head, they're racing time. That's going to set the standards. Alright. First run was 40.18 seconds. This is Hypnotic. Dead arc off road. Second to run. Ready when y'all are.
post. Oh no. Oh, he oh, had no. one heck of a run, but he did not go between the posts. That's a DQ. Time was 30 seconds. Oh. He had it, but he didn't seconds. finish the ready. Third to race, hobbled up. Third place, Tim Smoke with High Strung. Woo! I want to thank you very much for coming out and giving on a show. Thank you. Awesome Up job. Up next, Billy Knox with Cobbled Up with a second place run. Stay here, we'll get a picture. Stay here, we'll get a picture of everybody. Wait, after the first place. Now, Jonathan, we don't have a name for your truck. What's your truck's name? I forgot it. I forgot it. That's a good name. All right. Well, here's your first place run with the no name truck and your first place trophy. Congratulations. I want to thank y'all for coming out and putting on a show nice for everybody. Job. Let's do a picture with you. Okay, we're doing just a little hanging out between the mud run and the bouncy uh, hole. Hotel. Oh, yeah. Here we are just hanging out. We normally always get about four or five of the VIP camping areas. Um, and it just, everything was happening so late, we didn't know. 
know, I didn't know Bob and she was going to be together. People yeah. are lining up for the bounty hole. It's going to be over there. I'm going to zoom in for you. It starts, kids' bounty hole starts in about 15 minutes. They are definitely lining up for it. Thank you. 